This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. We hope you had a great weekend. I'm Emma. And I'm Eric with your morning announcements for Monday, March 2nd. Let's start off the show with a message from Mrs. Cannon. Good Monday morning, Cathedral, and welcome to March. A very exciting golden day for Cathedral this past weekend. A big and multi-dimensional congratulations to Colin Daly for winning gold at the System Science and Engineering Fair this past Saturday. Here we have the program of the fair that was held at Bishop Ryan. Colin drew record crowds and oohs and ahs as the many judges and visitors were entranced by his award-winning 3D printer. His display included an awesome presentation of the printer, explanations, schematics, and of course, incredible products, all produced by this amazing machine. CHCH News interviewed Colum and his project was featured on the evening news uh, Saturday at 6 and again at 11. Thank you to Ms. Alcicholi for her assistance uh, with the display and setup on Saturday and for all her encouragement and support. At uh, science fairs, when I was a kid, we had the, the baking soda volcano and just a lot of running around. But uh, I can tell you, today was a cut above, and the future of innovation and research may be for the moment in small hands, but they're very capable ones. The gym is packed at Bishop Ryan, but not for a championship game. It's the massive Hamilton-Wentworth Catholic District Science and Engineering Fair. Forty elementary schools, one high school, and a whopping 256 displays. Some students were doing the question answering, like high schooler Colin Daly, who bought a 3D printer but wasn't happy with it, so he printed his own. Can I repeat that? He made his own 3D printer. Daly humbly showed off his feet and promoted the emerging science. Uh, I think they're going to be really big. Like right now they're using them in the medical field. They're printing organs and stuff and they actually sent a 3D printer into space. As you saw with the enthusiasm on display today, uh, the future generation of Hamilton scientists uh, is looking very, very bright. Great. Once again, congratulations, Colin. Today is Option Sheet and Registration Day. Hope you're all prepared for it. Congratulations to all who participated in Think Fast this past uh, Thursday night into Friday and into Friday evening at 11. An awesome group, very good turnout. Thank you to all student participants, to Ms. O'Keefe as the lead, to our staff who were involved with the significant planning and the activities, to Ms. Amanda Galliani, Mr. Galliani, Ms. Craig, Mrs. Mundo, Mr. Cross and the hospitality students for the delicious soup, to the student teacher, Ms. Mancini, to our EAs, Mrs. Spatafor and Mrs. Mason, Special thanks to Mr. McMillan with tech and sound support. We are so proud of your efforts in raising awareness and funds for development and peace. A big shout out for athletics this week. Yes, our senior boys basketball team heading down the highway to Mississauga to play Loyola in the GHAC final. So all the very, very best wishes to you and also to our OFSA wrestling crew that is heading down to Windsor and the OFSA swimmer to uh, Dion Renault for his achievements and all the very best of luck there. So have a great day, Cathedral. Now over to Mr. LaRue. Thank you, Miss. Uh, just wanted to come on here this morning and share a few things with you in regards to the Glee Club. Uh, the Glee Club has been working very hard uh, and diligently for their competition at the Show Choir Canada. We did so well last year and we have to maintain that you know, championship. They actually moved us up into a more difficult and challenging division because we did so well last year but we're still up for the challenge. Now that's in April. So. Yes, we're rehearsing. We have over 20 hours worth of rehearsal this week, but that's not why I'm on here. I'm actually on here because a gentleman got in contact with me yesterday morning. First thing in the morning, I woke up to an email that was sent at 5.30 a.m., and this man was begging and pleading for the help of the Cathedral Glee Club. A little bit of story, and I'm very sorry for this long uh, message this morning, and I, I know Mr. Tabucco didn't want me coming on here, but I had to share the story. With Lent, with being a Catholic, with doing great things, uh, we had to help out this young young man. So this gentleman contacted me, told me his whole story, and uh, his girlfriend um, of over 10 years, who is a cathedral graduate, um, and she's an alumnist, she's 37 now, 
she has been battling breast cancer for the last two and a half years. And uh, it's been a very difficult, challenging time for them uh, in those two and a half years. She's had to have surgery, she's had chemotherapy, she's had radiation, she's had it all. And this past January, she was deemed cancer free. So what did they do? They went out, they celebrated with their family and friends, and it was a great time, and, and uh, they, they conquered cancer, which everyone is looking forward to. This past Monday, however, that just went on, um, she went in for a checkup, and they found that the cancer spread to her spine, her liver, her adrenal glands, her lungs, and she was deemed that she has six months left to live. Before she's going to leave this world, he never wanted, they never really wanted to get married, they never really wanted children, they really wanted to focus on their careers, and that was their life choice. But he decided, last minute over on the weekend, that when she leaves this world, that he wants to know that she was his wife. And it was like moving. I was on the phone crying with this man as he's pouring out his heart and soul, and he's going, she loves Glee Club. She actually was so ecstatic when she read the newspaper when we were in there last year and, and heard our success and then she watches the show every week and this gentleman said I, I can't even stand the show but I watch it with my wife because she loves it so much and he begged and pleaded could you please be a part of my wedding proposal at the hospital this Wednesday now with the stress and, and the hours that we're putting in I I didn't know how to say no we couldn't say no so with the support of everyone in the Glee Club we're going to be a part of a wedding proposal at the, at the hospital this Wednesday. And with the support of our administration, Mrs. Cannon, she was able to make this happen. It was just so amazing. It's, it's, it's not we're doing this for us, it's we're doing this for them. We are forever a part of their love story. And it's something special to be a part of, it's something special to be a part of Cathedral. And uh, if you know anyone that's on the Glee Club, please congratulate them for the amazing thing that they're going to be doing this Wednesday for this, this love story. All right, thank you very much, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks, sir. This is a reminder to he all Health Action Team members that today's the last date to get your application in for the Leadership Quest Camp. Please bring your completed student registration to the HAT meeting after school today in room 206. And speaking of applications, applications for summer co-op are now in the guidance office. Applications for health and wellness placements are due April 10th and applications for other placements are due May 15th. See your guidance counselor for more information. Students graduating this June must pre-order their gowns before the end of the day tomorrow. Please see Mrs. Siapana in guidance or in two ro room 206 to order your gown. And now I'll pass it over to Sarah, Matt, and Nicole from the Gale Guides. Good morning, Gales. It's now time to officially announce that on March 13th, the annual Gale Guides Dodgeball Tournament will take place. The tournament takes place throughout the day of the 13th and during period 5, the winning student team will take on a teacher team. You will be able to buy out of your period 5 class for $1 to watch this intense championship game. If you would like to participate in the dodgeball tournament, it's time to start making a team. We need 12 student teams to successfully run this tournament. Registration forms will be available from room 206 beginning tomorrow. There is a registration fee of $2 per person, and all of the money raised goes to the annex. With that being said, there are a couple of changes to the rules that you need to be aware of. This year, instead of teams of eight, there will be teams of ten. Of those ten team members, at least two must be of the opposite gender. And the biggest change this year is that in order to form a team, you must have at least two grade nine students on your team. After discussing with the other Gale Guides and our advisors, we needed to look back at the purpose of the Gale Guides, and that is to make the newest Gales feel like part of the Cathedral family. And that's the reason for this change. We want to see a true mix of students from all grades taking part in this annual tradition. Once your registration form has been handed in with the registration fee, teams will be finalized and posted. Completed registration forms and money can be handed in to room 206. That's it from us, now back to the desk. Thanks guys. This is a reminder to all the girls attending the YWCA Totally Awesome Young Women's Breakfast to hand in their permission forms today to Ms. Vesperini Dort in room 206. Also a reminder to all students who still owe their Think Fast pledge money. Please hand it in to Ms. O'Keefe in room 211 sometime before Wednesday. Thanks for Ms. O'Keefe. Are you a grade 11 or 12 student that still needs to pass the literacy test in order to graduate? On Thursday, during period four, a literacy test preparation session will be offered in the library for students who are rewriting the test. You need to sign up in the library ASAP in order to attend this session. 
Please speak with Mrs. O'Brien or Mrs. Verasso if you have any questions. All junior and senior boys planning to play rugby this year, listen up. Your first indoor training session on turf is today at 3.30 p.m. at Redeemer College. Players are reminded to bring their mouth guards for the session. Players are asked to see coaches Davis, M. Juba, or P. Juba for busting information. And speaking of rugby, the girls rugby players are reminded of today's mandatory boot camp with Mrs. Gallagher after school in the Pope John Paul II Wellness Studio. Attendance will be taken by Miss DiBiase before class starts, so please be prompt. Gym times for later this week will be announced shortly, but please keep Wednesday and Thursday open for technical training. And lastly, senior badminton tryouts will continue today. Please be ready to go in athletic attire by 3 p.m. today after school. Thanks from the coaches. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching.